<laughs> Sorry. Caught me eating my lunch. Yeah, I had to go out and get my lunch today. I forgot to bring it with me. Went through one of the drive throughs It's a little conflicting going through the drive through We do it often enough without even hardly thinking about it. But if we do stop and consider it, it's that stopping our cars and letting them idle, you know, burning emissions off for when we're not even really going anywhere. A lot of the food, especially the cups, they can't be recycled. They purely hit the landfill. But it's just a small thing. It's a one cup, right? <clears throat> one little time through. Is it really a small thing? Is it a, a little thing? Choices. <laughs> Big choices and little choices. Before we go further, let me share with you the scripture that we're using today. It comes from the book of Daniel, chapter 1, verses 15 to 17. It says, At the end of the days it was observed that they appeared better and fatter than all the young men who had been eating the royal rations. So the guard continued to withdraw their royal rations and the wine they were to drink, and gave them vegetables. To these four young men God gave knowledge and skill in every aspect of literature and wisdom. Daniel also had insight into all visions and dreams. The biblical story of Daniel. He could have had so much. He was offered so much. All he had to do was play along. But he couldn't. He stuck to his faith. He stuck to what he truly believed in. He refused to eat. And so they, they gave him vegetables. He essentially became a vegan. But rather than getting thinner, he got stronger and bigger. They tried to feed him to the lions and that didn't work out either. He had so much to be offered to him. There was so much to be offered to him and he refused it. And here I am going through a drive through with such a little thing that I, difference I could make by simply stopping the car and going in as opposed to driving through and letting the vehicle idle. There's little choices that can be made, ethical choices. I wonder if we were faced with the lions, where would our faith be? Of course, we don't have to live with those challenges today, do we? We're quite fortunate in, in that way. <clears throat> the biggest problem that we have in religion is being irrelevant. But at the same time, we always are faced with these choices, our environment, creation, the little things we do to help it or to hurt it. For us, we don't have the big life and death choices, at least not where we live. Others in many other countries do. They're faced with this very thing for their faith today. I suppose, given all that in mind, I can make some small sacrifices. I can use my disposable or my refillable cup instead of a disposable cup. I can stop the vehicle while ordering instead of letting it idle. Or better yet, I can remember to bring my lunch from home. That would be a good start. Let's take a moment. Holy God, we ask you to be with us as we journey through this wondrous of creation. Give us the strength to live up to the expectations that you have of us and that we have of ourselves. Help us, whether the choices are big or small, that we do them with our heart, with the spirit, with faith, and with the ethics of our lives. In this we pray. Amen. I don't know if I mentioned this is the 20th day of Lent. That's halfway through. I hope you have a great day. The sun was shining. There's a bunch of people walking outside. Maybe you can enjoy them today too. And now if you don't mind, I got some lunch I need to finish.